Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. A few years ago, our next door neighbor planted some peach trees in his backyard, and they've not done much um, until recently. I noticed that one of them has started growing peaches, and that's pretty cool. It's exciting for his family, I'm sure, and it's fun for us to watch. Now, if I um, got out our garden shears and walked over there one day and cut off the branches, we all know what would happen to those peaches, right? They would die. Because in order to grow, the peaches need to be connected to the branches, and the branches need to be connected to the rest of the tree, to the trunk of the tree. Um, so anyway, that got me thinking about a, a, a passage in the Bible where Jesus is speaking and where he talks about this very thing. So I'm gonna to read to you this morning from the book of John, chapter 15, and I'd like you to listen to this this morning because this is God's word to you and to me. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Boys and girls, we are like the branches on my neighbor's tree. And Jesus is the vine. He's, the, he's, that, he's that main part of the tree that, that the branches and the fruit can't survive without. Boys and girls, apart from Jesus, we can do nothing. But if we abide in Jesus, Jesus abides in us, we can bear so much fruit. And you'll notice that in there, Jesus says, how do we bear that fruit? We bear that fruit by keeping his commandments. And what is his commandment? That we love one another. Boys and girls, abiding in Jesus, staying with Jesus, remaining in Jesus. Jesus abides in us and we abide in him. It's a really, mysterious, amazing thing. But it's the only way that we can truly love one another as God has loved us. This is good news for us this morning. I love you. I'm always glad to see those of you who are able to come to church. And I miss those of you who are worshiping at home. And I hope that you all have a wonderful Sunday.